Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I've had this old chair for a few years now. It's pine with a woven seat, a bit tatty. There's nothing hugely wrong with it. It's just really uncomfortable. It's okay to sit on for a couple of minutes, but any longer and you get a bit of a numb bum. So my plan is to give it a bit of a spruce up and get a more comfortable seat pad put on. So first job is to get this old one removed. There's just a nail in each corner, so it comes off pretty easily. Then I can get these old nails removed. They're pretty rusty, but I get them tapped through and then I can use some pincers to get them pulled out. The chair currently has a varnish finish, which has got some damage to it, so I give it all a sand back. Not a difficult job, but going around all the little spindles takes a bit of time. And when I've got it all off, I just wash it down to remove any dust. I leave it by the fire to dry for a few hours, and then I can get it painted. Now, I'm going to go for black, a matte black finish, much like a chalkboard. I'm not normally that keen on painting wood, but this tatty old pine I think will look good in black. This paint dries in a couple of hours, so I can get one coat on, wait, flip it over, do the underside, and then do it all one more time. Whilst I wait for the final coat to dry, I can start work on the seat pad for this. I was searching around for some 18mm ply, but I couldn't find any. But what I have is some 12mm OSB. This is left over from the workshop build, and I think it was a cutout for one of the windows. Anyway, I can make this work. So I mark out how long it needs to be to be the new cushion, and then I'm going to cut down with the track saw. As the OSB is not as thick as I wanted it to be, I get two bits cut down so I can get them laminated together. I just get some PVA wood glue put onto one of the pieces, get them pushed together and then get loads of spring clamps on. So I've got the chair painted and I've got a bit of wood for the pad glued up but because you've got the round legs in the corner you need kind of a convex curve sanded or cut out of these but that would make the upholstery look a bit silly so I'm actually going to do a convex curve on these and that should look good. To mark out the curve, I just grabbed something I had on hand and that happened to be a roll of masking tape so I could just draw around that on all four of the corners. Then I could take it over to the bandsaw and get those lopped off. Then it was over to the belt sander just to give it all a clean up. Now, it fits nicely in the chair, but won't be that comfortable, so it's going to need some foam. I use the wood as a template and just draw around it with a sharpie. Then, I can take it over to the bandsaw. I find the bandsaw by far the easiest and quickest method to cut foam. now to get all the bits attached together and you start with some wadding I have this left over from another project so I get it laid out get the foam on with a good overhang all the way round and then I can get it cut to size with some scissors I can then fold up the sides pulling it quite tight and securing it with a few 10 mil staples Now 
Now we're ready for some fabric and I've found something really subtle and classy. I ordered a piece exactly the size I needed so I can get the pad on and then fold up the sides, pulling them tight and getting them secured with a few staples. The old seat was secured with a few rusty nails, but I want to use screws this time, so first I drill some pilot holes in all four of the supports. Then I can get some screws put into the holes, the pad put into place, and the screws driven down into it. As I've got it upside down, I just want to do one more job, and that's just to protect the feet with these little pads now that it's been painted. So that's it all done. I think it looks much better, and it's definitely far more comfortable. So that's it all done. I think it looks much better in black. Obviously, Badger print makes everything look better and it's so much more comfortable to sit on. So, thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.